Hello everyone and welcome to Alyssa's Precious Hair Bows. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a birthday invitation using Photoshop Elements 11. So the first thing you want to do is open Photoshop's 11, which I already have open. The next thing you want to do is go to File. You want to go to New. You want to go to Blank File. Here you'll have your little window that says uh, pre preset. Now you want to click on photo and you either want to depending on the, the invitation that you want to make you can either make it 4x6 landscape or a 5x7 landscape or a 4x6 portrait or 4 by, uh, 5x7 portrait. I'm going to be doing a five by seven um, invitation. Yeah, and you push OK. So now you get your template. The next thing you want to do is go into your images, and I'm getting mine from Google uh, Google Images, and I really like this polka dotted one. So this is what I'm going to be doing. You want to right click on it on the image then you want to go to copy image and mine sometimes doesn't do it so you want to copy it twice just in case then you want to go back to your Photoshop you want to go to edit paste now you get your little window now you want to stretch this as far as you can as big as you can to take up the whole the whole page and then you hit the check mark and there is your background for your invitation now depending if you want to add um, a picture or um, like little designs you can do that by well, you can automatically do your daughter's or your son's picture on there or, you know, your child's or a child's picture on there. I'm choosing not to do that right now because I have to open all kinds of stuff and I really don't want to open it right now. But if you want to add a, uh, let's say, um, we'll do Minnie Mouse. You get the Minnie Mouse you want, and we'll go with go with this one. And you want to copy image, copy image, and you go back to your Photoshop, and you want to do the same thing. You want to go back to Edit, and you want to go to Paste, and there is Minnie. Now you want to get it as big as you can, or as big as you want. And you want to, it's up to you. You can leave it like that or you can turn her like this. And hit OK. Now you want to head on over here to the eraser tool. Yeah. You can see, I wish it focus better. Uh, you want to head to the eraser tool. And I have it set at 528, which brings this whole big circle. So I want to lower it down. Uh, maybe to about a 70, no, about a hundred. That's good. 165. I brought it too. And you want it set on brush. I'm sorry. It's I'm so sorry. The camera's shaking. I'm doing it off my phone and it's hard. So you want to start clicking on all the white that you see. You want to be careful that you don't uh, clip many because this is what could happen. And if that happens and you're doing it okay, just go back to edit, undo eraser, and you have your ear back. So you just want to keep on clicking until all the white is gone. Oh, look, I did a bubble. 
it's hard to see through the camera. Okay, but y'all get the idea. You just go around, go around until all the white is gone. And if, um, oh, I cut her nose off. Okay, well, seeing how there's still more right here, you want to go back, you want to lower it down. And I think a 75 is fine, so you just want to clip. You just want to move down the eraser to where it will fit so you can trim it. And you'll have your mini. Um, since this is just a tutorial I'm doing, I'm not going to finish the whole mini. But I will show you what to do next. Next, you want to go to the toolbar. And you want to set to the colors you want. Now, say you want this pink. Uh, let's say this lime green right here. You go to the color picker tool. And you click on it. And there's your, so you go back here and your color is right there. So you want to go to wherever you want to put it and just drag it across. And you want to say, um, right now I have my thing set at 40. So I'm going to set it to 25. And we go back up. And you want it to say, Look who is turning three. Oh, I'm sorry, everything. Uh, let me see if I can zoom this in. And it's hard to see that color, so I'm going to change that color into a black just so that you guys could see. But y'all can, y'all can pick um whatever color you you want. So there you go. Look who's turning three. And you want to hit return. Um, come help us celebrate. Sorry guys if the camera's moving. Um, <clears throat> okay. Now here, if you want to use a different inscription for the, your child's name, you just hit OK. And you want to bring this, well, I guess you can't bring it really. Uh, and, OK, you just hit OK. So what you want to do again is go back to the text tool, and you want to drag again. Now you want to go and pick whatever font you want. So. I want it to be very elegant, so let me see if I can find that one. Well, it seems like I can't find it. We'll use this one. And you type in. Now, see it's small and you want it bigger than the other writing, than the actual, you know, little invitation. You want to go here and say we'll put it 35. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> 35. And it'll be that big. Now, J is not capitalized, so capitalize it. And then you hit the check mark. Now, since it's not in the middle, you don't always have to, um, uh, sorry, you don't always have to put it in the middle, um, uh, center it, you just want to move it. And that's how you do a birthday invitation. Um, you can then add the time, the date, the RSVP, and everything like that. It is pretty s simple and easy. <sighs> The one thing I, I will say that is hard is when you put a decoration and trying to make sure that everything is set. And I'm sorry if I put Joshua. It's just an example. And it has many. <laughs> it's just an example of things, um, you know, that you can work with. 
to me, Photoshop has been really good. I recently made my daughter's birthday invitations through um, Photoshop, and it came out perfectly good. Um, if you have any other questions on how to make the birthday invitations, uh, leave me a message below, and a comment below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I know a lot of people have, have left uh, YouTube comments asking you know, about tutorials and stuff like that. I really don't get to my tutorial, uh, to my YouTube a lot. So please visit me on my Facebook uh, page or my uh, website. The, li the links will be listed below. I'm so sorry, guys. It's been a long day. <laughs> I'm, like, talking crazy. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate in asking me. Thank you for watching.